Orion is a partially reusable crewed spacecraft to be used in NASA's Artemis program. The spacecraft consists of a crew module space capsule designed by Lockheed Martin in the European service module manufactured by Airbus Defense and Space. Capable of supporting a crew of six beyond low Earth orbit, Orion can last up to 21 days undocked and up to six months docked. It is equipped with solar panels, an automated docking system, and glass cockpit interfaces modeled after those used in the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. A single AJ-10 engine provides the spacecraft's primary propulsion, while 8R-4D11 engines, and six pods of custom reaction control system engines developed by Airbus, provide the spacecraft's secondary propulsion. Although compatible with other launch vehicles, Orion is primarily intended to launch atop a space launch system rocket, with a tower launch escape system. Orion was originally conceived in the early 2000s by Lockheed Martin as a proposal for the crew exploration vehicle to be used in NASA's Constellation program. Lockheed Martin's proposal defeated a competing proposal by Northrop Grumman and was selected by NASA in 2006 to be the CEV. Originally designed with a service module featuring a new Orion main engine and a pair of circular solar panels, the spacecraft was to be launched atop the Ares I rocket. Following the cancellation of the Constellation program in 2010, Orion was heavily redesigned for use in NASA's Journey to Mars initiative, later named Moon to Mars. The SLS replaced the Ares I as Orion's primary launch vehicle, and the service module was replaced with a design based on the European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle. The development version of Orion's CM was launched in 2014 during Exploration Flight Test 1, while at least four test articles have been produced. As of 2020, three flight-worthy Orion spacecraft are under construction, with an additional one ordered, a, for use in NASA's Artemis program. The first of these is due to be launched no earlier than September 2, 2022 on Artemis 1. Orion uses the same basic configuration as the Apollo Command and Service Module that first took astronauts to the Moon, but with an increased diameter, updated thermal protection system, and a host of other modern technologies. It will be capable of supporting long-duration deep space missions with up to 21 days of active crew time plus 6 months quiescent spacecraft life. During the quiescent period crew life support would be provided by another module, such as the proposed deep space habitat. The spacecraft's life support, propulsion, thermal protection, and avionics systems can be upgraded as new technologies become available. The Orion spacecraft includes both crew and service modules, a spacecraft adapter and an emergency launch abort system. The Orion's crew module is larger than Apollo's and can support more crew members for short or long duration missions. The European Service Module propels and powers the spacecraft as well as storing oxygen and water for astronauts, Orion relies on solar energy rather than fuel cells which allow for longer missions. The Orion Crew Module is a reusable transportation capsule that provides a habitat for the crew, provides storage for consumables and research instruments, and contains the docking port for crew transfers. The Crew Module is the only part of the spacecraft that returns to Earth after each mission and is a 57.5 degrees frustum shape with a blunt spherical aft end, 5.02 meters in diameter and 3.3 meters in length, with a mass of about 8.5 metric tons. It was manufactured by the Lockheed Martin Corporation at Mashad Assembly Facility in New Orleans. It will have 50% more volume than the Apollo capsule and will carry four to six astronauts. NASA has selected the Avcote ablator system for the Orion crew module. Avcote, which is composed of silica fibers with a resin in a honeycomb made of fiberglass and phenolic resin, was formerly used on the Apollo missions and on the Space Shuttle orbiter for early flights. Orion's CM will use advanced technologies, including, glass cockpit digital control systems derived from those of the Boeing 787. An autodock feature, like those of Progress, the automated transfer vehicle, and Dragon 2, with provision for the flight crew to take over in an emergency. Prior U.S. spacecraft have all been docked by the crew, with the exception of Dragon 2. Improved waste management facilities, with a miniature camping-style toilet and the Unisex relief tube used on the space shuttle. A nitrogen-oxygen mixed atmosphere at either sea level or reduced pressure. The reusable recovery parachutes will be based on the parachutes used on both the Apollo spacecraft and the space shuttle solid rocket boosters, and will be constructed of Nomex cloth. Water landings will be the exclusive means of recovery for the Orion CM. To allow Orion to mate with other vehicles, it will be equipped with the NASA docking system. The spacecraft will employ a launch abort system along with a boost protective cover, 
to protect the Orion CM from aerodynamic and impact stresses during the first two and a half minutes of ascent. Its designers claim that the MPCV is designed to be 10 times safer during ascent and re-entry than the Space Shuttle. All of Orion's component parts have been designed to be as modular as possible, so that between the craft's first test flight in 2014 and its projected Mars voyage in the 2030s, the spacecraft can be upgraded as new technologies become available. As of 2019, the spacecraft atmospheric monitor is planned to be used in the Orion CM. In May 2011 the ESA Director General announced a possible collaboration with NASA to work on a successor to the automated transfer vehicle. On June 21, 2012, Airbus Defense and Space announced that they had been awarded two separate studies, each worth 6.5 million euros, to evaluate the possibilities of using technology and experience gained from ATV and Columbus-related work for future missions. The first looked into the possible construction of a service module which would be used in tandem with the Orion CM. The second examined the possible production of a versatile multi-purpose orbital vehicle. On November 21, 2012, the ESA decided to develop an ATV-derived service module for Orion. The service module is being manufactured by Airbus Defense and Space in Bremen, Germany. NASA announced on January 16, 2013, that the ESA service module will first fly on Artemis 1, the debut launch of the Space Launch System. Testing of the European service module began in February 2016, at the Space Power Facility. On February 16, 2017, a 200 million euros contract was signed between Airbus and the European Space Agency for the production of a second European service module for use on the first crewed Orion flight, Artemis II. On 26 October 2018 the first unit for Artemis I was assembled in full at Airbus Defence and Spaces Factory in Bremen. Add keywords here to make this summary more specific to a topic. Strict scan. In the event of an emergency on the launch pad or during ascent, the launch abort system will separate the crew module from the launch vehicle using three solid rocket motors, an abort motor, an attitude control motor, and a jettison motor. The AM provides the thrust needed to accelerate the capsule, while the ACM is used to point the AM and the jettison motor separates the LAS from the crew capsule. On July 10, 2007, Orbital Sciences, the prime contractor for the LAS, awarded Alliant Tech Systems a $62.5 million subcontract to design, develop, produce, test and deliver the launch abort motor, which uses a reverse flow design. On July 9, 2008, NASA announced that ATK had completed construction of a vertical test stand at a facility in Promontory, Utah to test launch abort motors for the Orion spacecraft. Another longtime space motor contractor, Aerojet, was awarded the Jettison Motor Design and Development contract for the LAS. As of September 2008, Aerojet has, along with team members Orbital Sciences, Lockheed Martin and NASA, successfully demonstrated two full-scale test firings of the Jettison Motor. This motor is used on every flight, as it pulls the LAS tower away from the vehicle after both a successful launch and a launch abort. The idea for a crew exploration vehicle was announced on January 14, 2004, as part of the vision for space exploration after the Space Shuttle Columbia accident. The CEV effectively replaced the conceptual orbital space plane, a proposed replacement for the Space Shuttle. The design competition was held, and the winner was the proposal from a consortium led by Lockheed Martin. It was later named, Orion, after the stellar constellation and mythical hunter of the same name, and became part of the Constellation program under NASA Administrator Sean O'Keefe. Constellation proposed using the Orion CEV in both crew and cargo variants to support the International Space Station and as a crew vehicle for a return to the Moon. The crew, command module was originally intended to land on solid ground on the U.S. West Coast using airbags but later changed to ocean splashdown, while a service module was included for life support and propulsion. With a diameter of 5 meters as opposed to 3.9 meters, the Orion CEV would have provided 2.5 times greater volume than the Apollo CM. The service module was originally planned to use liquid methane as its fuel, but switched to hypergolic propellants due to the infancy of oxygen, methane-powered rocket technologies and the goal of launching the Orion CEV by 2012. The Orion CEV was to be launched on the Ares-I rocket to low Earth orbit, where it would rendezvous with the Altair lunar lander launched on a heavy-lift Ares-V launch vehicle for lunar missions.